Hello and welcome to the 33rd tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at views, we're just going to have a little introduction to views. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial, if you don't have it don't worry there'll be a link in the description. First of all what we're just going to do is copy and paste this image that we've got that we used in a few tutorials back. The reason we're copy and pasting it is because it's bigger than the window and we'll be explaining why in a moment. Views allow us to create games like Clash of Clans, for example, which don't show the entire game screen and allow you to move around. Also providing the functionality of increasing or decreasing the view size, aka simulating zoom functionality. And what we're going to do is going to create this image as a sprite, and it's going to be bigger than the window, and we're going to have change the size of our view so we can visually see different views or different size views. So let's just open up our project. And to create a view, what you do is, well, first of all, we're going to create the sprite. So, SF sprite background. I'm going to create a texture, SF texture, texture. And now, what we're going to do is just load the texture with the file. So, not texture.load from file. And in here, we're going to do vertex example.png and in here we're going to put std c out error std colon colon and line and now we can just set the background so background dot set texture texture and now we will draw the sprite to the window so if we just scroll down here and just do window.draw and then we're going to put background just run our application as you can see the sprite is significantly bigger than the window so what we're going to do now we'll create a view one thing to bear in mind make sure the ratio is the same as the window otherwise the contents will look skewed unless that is the desired effect and so what we're going to do is just below the render window we're going to do sf view and call it view and we're going to initialize the parameters of sf float rect so we just specify how big we want the view to be or how much we want to show we're going to put zero zero so it's going to start in the top left and it's going to go to 300 by 300 which is basically a quarter of the screen size and now what we'll do window dot set view uh, view and now what we're going to do is just run our application okay now what we have is actually what we'll do is just comment this out so you can see how we looked before right this morning we've done this actually if we just comment this out this is all we need to comment out to prevent the view from being set. As you see, we can see Crash Bandicoot's header. Actually, we can see most of him. But if we comment this line, I mean, uncomment it, so it's going to be back in the code. And we just show a quarter of the window, initial window. We can hardly see Crash Bandicoot. All we can see is, is, is Jetpack and a bit of it here. What we're going to do now is just change these values to 3000, which is significantly bigger than the actual image and what you'll see is we have our image here but the view uh, is a lot bigger so if we were to have stuff outside the view if we were to increase the view size we could see everything maybe you want to do that at the start of a level so the player can see everything and then zoom in onto the contents which may be I don't know an area of this may be his eye and then the player can move around and you can move the view. In the next tutorial I'm going to cover moving the view. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.